Oh yeah, 100%. Trump tells Republicans he'll release the memo by Tyler Durden, 40hedge.com. After what uh, even the mainstream media uh, of mainstream media admitted under duress with a solid uh, State of the Union address, nearly half of those who watched President Trump's uh, State of the Union address on Tuesday reacted very positively to the speech according to a SNAP CNN SSRS poll. According to that survey, the results of which were announced on air on CNN, 48% of respondents said they had a very positive reaction to the speech. Trump's uh, first since taking office, only 22% said they had a somewhat positive reaction to the speech, while 29% uh, reacted negatively. 62% of respondents said that the uh, policies outlined by the president on Tuesday would move the country in the right direction, according to the CNN SSRS poll. By comparison, 35% said they would move it in the wrong direction which was followed by the exact opposite from the Democratic Party's official response. It appears President Trump has managed to set another narrative as he left the uh, House chambers. As Trump uh, shook hands up, uh, up the aisle after his State of the Union address, Representative uh, Jeff Duncan called out uh, to Trump asking him, let's release the memo, referring to the House Intelligence Committee's uh, FISA memo. As the following clip shows, Trump responded instantly, oh yeah, don't worry, 100%. C-SPAN clip as President Trump exits the House chamber, Representative Jeff Duncan uh, asks him to release the memo at the State of the Union there. Let's take a quick listen. Let's replay that. Well, so it seems pretty clear, as the Hill notes, Republican members of the committee said on Tuesday that they are working on a transcript of the closed-door vote and will release it when it's finished. Um, CBS News reported on Tuesday that representatives from the FBI, DOJ, National Security Agency, and Office of the Director of National Intelligence are reviewing it. Representative Trey Gowdy said this week on Fox that the memo is embarrassing to Democrats. Gowdy said, my Democratic colleagues didn't want us to find this information. They did everything they could to keep us from finding this information. I think it will be embarrassing to Adam Schiff once people realize the extent to which he went to keep them from learning any of this. That would be the embarrassment if it were up to Adam Schiff. You wouldn't know about Hillary Clinton's emails. You wouldn't know about the server. You wouldn't know about the dossier. I do find it ironic that he has his own memo right now because if it were up to him, we wouldn't know any of it. Is it any wonder Nancy Pelosi was making faces? Don't you love Mark Dice? Nancy Pelosi playing is playing with her dentures again and not applauding when Trump calls for unity between the two parties. Uh, this is funny. You gotta love it. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry about that. I saw that. Last night. I saw that last night and they picked it up. I mean, I said, what is she doing?
And she thought she was being arrogant. Do you see what I'm trying to say? I saw that last night. Uh, I said to myself, I said, what is she doing? I, I couldn't believe she was doing that. I said, look at the arrogance of that. You know, I mean, it, it's just, but the, uh, they, they, Mark Dice covered it. I didn't even think of that. She's playing with her dentures again and not applauding. Absolutely. So now she's, she's going to be the fool, made the fool. Unbelievable. Let me know, but, uh, you know, I knew that I had a hint that Trump wasn't going to release it last night because of the, uh, you know, he just wanted to go along with the, uh, you know, being uh, quiet about it. I, I don't think the State of the Union was the right place to release it, even though we would have all loved to see it. But he said, 100%, oh yeah, don't worry. 100% unbelievable that's it he's going to but under the right circumstances he knows what he's doing let me know what you guys think in the comments below and again thank you so much for watching